Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I figured, well, since I got a couple extra ship parts, I'll, you know, see what I can do with them. Like, we got the, you know, we got a new thingy here and let's just go over to the peaceful bridge, yes. Why not? <laughs> Looks ridiculous, but why not? I think, uh, no, I don't have another chimney. I forgot what other, oh, it's the barricade. No, no, that, I mean the handrail. No, it's not. What, what What other part did I get? I thought I got another part here. It's not another cannon, is it? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, I got the shell anchor attached already, and uh, what am I missing here? Is that really the only part that I got? It seems, hmm, I guess so. I mean, I, I don't know. It seems like, I mean, I, I think I got more than that, but oh, well, whatever. <laughs> It's not really going to help anything, but, well, I just wanted to kind of show what I had thus far, and I thought I had more than that. Let's move on. <laughs> what? Huh? Does your ship have a salvage arm? No, it doesn't. You can make a fortune by recovering lost treasure from the bottom of the sea. Gotta get a salvage arm, though. I bet old Edel, Edo on that southern island can help. Yeah, that's about where I'm going to go. Look where the crab dragged in. <laughs> get the, got that third sea chart yet? I found the secret mark to be transferred to our southwestern sea chart. If you found another temple of courage, we'll open with a sun key. But the new mark on our chart reveals a spot that that's essential to our quest. I see, and since it's a, and seeing is believing, it's time for you to believe in old Linebeck. I say that we go there. We're bound to find something. It's so off to the unknown link. Yes, we shall. Woohoo! And cutting through the cutscene. Tap 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 tap. <laughs> Alright, now, now, uh, let's, I suppose, we'll go over to, yeah, we're gonna avoid Beetle ship there, and go over to the mark right now, just for kicks, just to see what's over there for now, because maybe something changed, you know, that we've passed by before while we shoot, over, shoot down seagulls just because. Is Beetle stopped there? Am I gonna run into Beetle and he's gonna ask me to go into the ship? No, I, I don't want to right now, please. I'm just gonna bump you aside and... Or I'm just gonna slide along you. Okay, there we go, perfect. No! <laughs> I guess because I drew a line through the path. Yeah. And we. <clears throat> Alright, we're nearing the mark now. And still doesn't look like there's anything there. Hmm. 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 Okay, we made it exactly where the crest is, but there's nothing here! Nothing that looks like a crest anyway, just a bunch of sea. Well, maybe there's something here, but below, at the bottom of the sea. Don't look at me like I'm crazy, maybe it's down there, under the sea. But I'm not getting wet, kid. I, uh, can't even swim. <laughs> so, uh, remember we heard there's something back over Edo? Yeah, Edo is where the cannon was. So now there is a salvage arm that we can pick up to get something, something over here. Oh, yes! Uh oh, no! Oh, yes! <laughs> I should actually try shooting those just for the fun of it. Maybe get a prize out of them or something. But shooting them is riskier than jumping them. Alright, Cannon Island, we're back. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good night's weather we're having? And Oh, Link, good to see you. Master has wrapped up his... I have wrapped up work on his latest salvage arm. Woohoo! And I'm pretty sure I have the rupees for it. Hey, how's it going? Yes, yes, it's finally complete. The salvage arm will let you reach to the bottom of the sea for sunken treasure. What? Aren't you the shrimplet who bought that cannon for me? And now you want the salvage arm? Did you come racing over here after getting one of my letters? Kinda, I waited a day to record this part. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped everything to rush here for my invention. You're a real fan of my work, aren't you? Eh, come on, you don't have to keep it a secret. I want to sell it to one of my fans. <laughs> you can't just buy your way through life, son. It's passion that counts. So sell me just how much you want that's the salvage arm. Shout with gusto, man! Yeah, basically yell into the microphone, or in my case, blow into the microphone, and you'll get a discount, basically. <laughs> I believe he'll charge a thousand rupees for the weakest volume and 200 rupees for the loudest volume. So yeah, let's just see what we can do here by holding the uh, shoulder button on my controller. Hopefully I'll be able to get a high enough discount with this. I'm loud enough anyway, so I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to tell that I'm loud enough to get this with shouting into the microphone. <laughs> 
And how long does this have to be here, man? Can I just release it and and then we'll be okay? I'm re I'm releasing it now. Okay, okay. Well, uh, what? What a need? What really, Siri? What? Oh, come on, really? Um, hmm. Am I gonna be able to get this with my current setup? Because this is something pretty important. <laughs> Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Microphone blowing, microphone blowing. I'm holding, holding, holding. <laughs> I might have to reset something because maybe something lost its configuration when I move stuff around. Hmm. 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 Yeah, it doesn't appear like anything is working here. Uh-oh. 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 Ooh. <laughs> I'm still holding it. Yeah, this isn't working. Hmm, hold on a sec. Ah, that looks like it has more potential. Look at that. I, I set it to a, a different key with a different sound setting here. And uh, it's a uh, configure uh, microphone settings. Use internal noise sample. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna try that, and it seems a little bit more effective, and I also got it set to the M hotkey. Uh, did I mention that? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna... I've come to butter you up all over again. Uh-huh. Alright, let's see what we've got here. I'm holding the M key. Holding M. <laughs> holding M as best I can. Come on. Oh, I just let go of the M key. <laughs> okay. I'll, uh, that isn't the best deal that you can get, but given the circumstances, I'm gonna say deal. <laughs> I mean, I, I barely got it past this. Whoops. <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. Did I mean to? Okay. <laughs> I was grabbing my controller again. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the salvage arm after 10 minutes of configuring microphone samples. <laughs> Now, if you go and break the salvage arm, take it to the Mercury Island shipyard, they'll charge you an arm and a leg, but at least you'll get it fixed up nice. Yeah, so the shipyard that I went to check over parts, to attach parts and whatnot, yeah, that's the place that you can get it repaired. Uh, but I recommend... Yeah, this is pretty funny here. Savvy guy like you would know to merely snap your fingers. You look pretty silly if you really yelled. Yeah, if you really yelled. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you if your salvage arm should break... Uh, you'll, have to, you'll be charged more than if you just need repairs on its hearts. Got your ha hands on the salvage arm. Did you link? You can use that to haul up treasures from the bottom of the sea. I am most certainly ready. So yeah, now we're gonna go back over to that spot that we couldn't get the whatever thing was below the sea. And we are going to get the thing that is below the sea. Perfect landing with my cursor. <laughs> Alright, we're on the move, and also when I get uh, over back on this side, I'm gonna get that other frog that's hanging around that area. But uh, that's, that's getting a little ahead of myself here. <laughs> uh, I'm just so happy that I got some sort of microphone something going here. <laughs> Alrighty. So, so, we have reached the spots. And now, going into the menu... We're gonna go to salvage. We got a new thing on our thing. <laughs> All right, kid. <clears throat> I'll tell you about how to know how to use the salvage arm. All kinds of treasure rests at the bottom of the sea. Use a salvage arm to pull that treasure up. See the bar controlling the arm at the bottom of the screen. Tap and drag this right or left to move the arm under the water. Move it up or down to adjust how fast the arm moves. But there are octo mines on there. It'll explode if you touch them, and they move in different patterns. So watch carefully. It takes a steady hand to move the arm carefully and steer clear of them. All right, so I'm just gonna hold down here, and you can slide it left and right there. You don't really need to see my cursor, do you? I don't think you do. You also feel to get uh, rupees along the way here. And this, I feel this is going a little slower than it normally would in the actual game, let's just say that, but I think that's because I'm doing recording plus emulation, plus not having a, as powerful of a computer as would be nice, but uh, that is okay. And also don't hit walls or critters or anything like that, and carefully, carefully, carefully... Da -da 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 -da! I got it! 
Alright, now I gotta bring it back up the same way. Uh, now the critters are basically gonna be there again, but in a different pattern. Oh, shoot! I thought I could have avoided that. No! See, my health dropped, but, uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to repair that. Well, maybe, maybe not until it drops more, but I'd like to repair that before it drops completely and it gets completely broken because I'll be charged less if I just repair that one missing point of my health or or four missing pieces of my health as opposed to all five. Yay! We're making progress! No thanks to that sound sample I had. <laughs> it's the sun key! Remember that crest we saw at that other island over here? Hey, strange looking key you got there. It's shaped like the sun. What could that supposed to mean, kid? What that means is we can now open that locked door at that island, but as I'm, long as I'm going there, I'm gonna go switch over, like, around here and try and get that frog first. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw a loop around that area there and see if I can kick up a frog on my way to there, because then I'll be able to get that door point. Because after all, we still, you know, we don't have the war points active that we've all come across. And this point is useless, and the one up north is useless, because we don't need to, to drift over to there. That's why I haven't used my uh, Cyclone Slate yet, uh, you know, to demonstrate it and whatnot, because I haven't really needed anything for I mean, you know, I haven't needed it at all. <laughs> so it's just kind of me sailing around as per normal. It's, it doesn't take too long to get to these spots anyway. And we're still looking out for the critters. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I, I kind of shot at it when it was moving off camera, but it worked out. Okay, now I gotta keep my eyes peeled for Froggy popping up out of the water here. It's coming, it's coming! I should have my camera switched around here. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Where is that dang frog? <laughs> I'm circling all around my circle here. Hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe I should change my route to, uh, kind of, oops kind of loop my circle around a little more south. Let's try that again. Because maybe, maybe, oh, there it is, there it is! Maybe I did, oh, didn't find the right spots. Sometimes you just gotta find, oh, it's gone. It's gone! My frog, it's gone. Where'd it go, anyway? Oh, no, it's swimming away! <laughs> this is, this is much more difficult than it should be! <laughs> I returned the port! <laughs> I'm going in the direction that I seen it. I am not leaving without this frog, because this frog is something handy for the future. <laughs> Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it! Get that freaking frog! I'm gonna go like that. <laughs> it seems like I have an easier time shooting when I'm going in a straight line. Oh, I got it! <laughs> Just as it was going into the water. Oh, alright, so what do I need to draw this time? Alright, this symbol. This is a really awkward symbol to draw. And, uh, yeah, it just doesn't always seem to register for me it, because it's so weird to draw and it's kind of hard to draw in itself. So I'm going to do this as carefully as possible here. We're just going to loop around something like that and then a line straight down, I guess. Uh, hold on, let me erase this edge and just, oops. Kind of redo that a little bit. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> my perfectionism, sometimes one of my worst traits. And uh, that actually looks more like that symbol. So okay, I'm gonna deal. I mean, I'm gonna deal with yeah, deal with that and hope that it's going to work. Yes, I am happy with that. Now, now I can finally go south back to Melita Island. And thus avoid Octoroks, hopefully. Uh, yeah, when they go underwater, you can't actually hit them. That's all his bad timing on <laughs> when he went underwater while I was shooting at him. Take that, Seagull! Yeah! You still don't stand the chance against my shooting skills. Take that, Tornado! You don't stand the chance against my shooting skills. Nothing will stand the chance against my shooting skills. <laughs> Ooh, oh, 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 I think there's something that can stand the chance of this my shooting skills! It's the giant eye plant! 
Yep, a mini boss on our way to the island. That nasty thing is between us and the island, kid. Now its weak spot is. Well, I guess if I knew, I wouldn't be. We wouldn't be in this too. But the weak spot's got to be uh, on its body somewhere. One thing I do know: chart a new course. We stay on the move around it. Don't be a bobbing log. Evade attacks. So you watch for its weak spots. And if that thing gets close to any attacks, blast away with the cannon! So, alright, so we gotta change our route here. Now, what I like to do here is do, I feel like, a figure eight pattern around here. Like something... like a tight figure eight pattern, something like this. So that it's relatively close to him, but that it keeps weaving around its attacks and stays relatively far away from it. Even though I'm, I think I'm getting a little too close with that right line, but well, we'll see how it goes. But the reason why I like the figure eight is because it keeps moving in a, in a relatively uh, short and kind of weavy pattern. And it's rather predictable for the camera movement and stuff like that. Shoot those green things before they hit the... Oh, that one's going to go over. Never mind. So its weakness is the eye. Because that's just how Zelda is. That you got... Yeah, you're, the weakness is always the eye for some reason. <laughs> and yeah, see how much difficulty it has shooting me with this pattern? I don't know why, but that's that's the key here that I found. Is just to do a nice figure eight pattern. And you'll be able to do a pretty nice run on this boss. It probably won't even get hit, actually. Unless you get really unlucky with the, uh, the, sh the shots, you know, that's coming around there. Like, he maybe times it and shoots it a little short while you're moving towards it or something like that. But even so, you can block it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it takes five hits and it gets more aggressive and it closes its eye more often during the uh, boss fight, the more damage it takes. So, that's another reason why I like the figure eight pattern is because it, it gets you, it keeps you around him more often. So that you're able... Oh, it's four hits. Okay. So, yeah. So it keeps you within range of his eye, and you're able to shoot his eye whenever you have the opportunity to, basically. And there we go. See? Nothing stand the ch stands a chance against me and my cannon skills, just as I said. All right, we've made it. Now, I'm going to tap that to get it out, because we're going to need that again. Remember that spot underground? Do you remember... I remember that spot. If you don't... Pff, why did I do that? <laughs> it's this right here I circled. Now, around this way, remember there was the door that had the sun crest that we drew poorly on the map? Yep, that was our reminder to come back here with the sun key, which opens the door to the next dungeon. And since I've probably only got about five minutes of footage due to my microphone issues, I'm going on to solve the next puzzle. <laughs> So, on our way there, we would like to look for these tiki statue type things, tribal statue type things, because there's something that we need from them. Say, so, hey, how's it going? Ashu's home has a storehouse. That storehouse has a tree outside, and its roots hide a buried prize. Dig there. Ooh! Ooh! We've got a tip-off, huh? 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 Oops, oops, oops. I wanted to go to, actually, this island there in specific. So, I'm gonna say... D-I-G-T-R-E-E. -E. Holy jeez, that is terrible. <laughs> that arrow is good enough, though. Yeah, I was just kind of scribbling along there. So, okay, you're you're going to do that. Okay, there's one of the, the statues right there. And what I'm going to do here is uh, get my boomerang. Oh! I was going to say get my boomerang out and uh, hit it. Because I just want to activate it. Watch this. Laser appears from that. Yeah, and it points towards the temple. Up there. Well, yeah, that's the next spot we're going to. And thus, we need to find a way to get in it. Only statues can urge the temple door open, so focus their light gaze on it. We already got one of three on there, so we're, we're doing so good, good, doing good so far. And, oh, oh no, no, bad, bad crow! Tap that and activate it. Uh, I'm gonna also touch the statue and just kind of waggle it around here. That looks good. And now there's one more over here, but beware, beware, for there are dangers. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get them both at once here. Oh, I only got one of two. Ooh! Just want to kill off at least one of two. There you go. Yeah, it's harder to deal with more than one. As I said before, when I d dealt with this duder before. Oh, oh, I missed completely. That is sad. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Get him, get him, get him, get him, yes! Aha! Yeah, I'll take that! And give me rupees, too, as my prize, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you seem to give a good amount of rupees when you kill them all, probably because they're a more difficult than usual enemy. And thus, another statue appears. And thus, I think you know what to do. <laughs> Just turn it around until it faces straight up, watch the map on the top screen, there we go. They cross over. And the door opens in a very fancy way. I like that effect there. And... Whoa! Oh, yeah. Let's take a look-see around here. I don't really think there's anything import of importance. Nah. It just lets you hop back down to those stairs that we came up through uh, via the sun key door. And there we go. The pathway to the next temple is here. And thus, meaning... I'm going to start the Temple of Courage in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then. So happy that I got the microphone working for that. 